Okay, we have the character as 3D model. Now, let's go to the next level. Giving it some color, texturing it. Now it's gray. It has no color. In Blender, there is a material panel. In this panel, you can add the color you want, some of specularity, mirror, etc. You can change any material variable, so you will get what you need. Metal, plastic, leather. But we are not going to add the material by using this way. Instead, as every video game character, it will have an external texture. That is, by using an image file. JPG, PNG, etc. It would be like this plain image. You can attach it over the 3D model. And so, we will get the character textured. We are going to use exactly, this image file as texture for our character. We open a second window, so we will have a 3D model window, and a texture window. We create the second window by dragging that little icon in the corner to the left. Now we have a duplicated window. We can drag that vertical bar. We don't need it. We have here a 3D view. So, we change it to UV Image Editor. Here, in Image, do click over Open Image, and we choose the texture image that we want. Here it is. How can we add the texture image to our character? We will cut this cube as if it was a plane, a paper, same as the texture. If this face is this one in the texture, it means, the face of the face. Then, it would be cut in this edge, and in this one, and in this other edge. It would be this edge, and this one and this one. We select the upper object with right mouse button. And then, tabulator for changing to edit mode. Another important button is Control Tab. Here, you can select Vertex, Edge, or Face. You can also select one of them, in this little window. So, let's select edges and then, with right mouse button, we select the three edges in the top of the head. We must hold press the Shift key for selecting more than one element. These three edges are these ones in the texture. In this side, there is a cut. This edge is this one. And in the bottom, it would be the same as in the top. This one. This one and this one. And now, to get these edges cut, press Ctrl E, and choose Mark Seam. Now, the edges with seam marks have a red color. By pressing A key, will occur one of these things, select all, or deselect all. If you have deselected all, then press A key again, and you will get the whole object selected. When all is selected, then, press U for unwrap. When you have pressed U key, then choose Unwrap. Now, we can see the 3D object as a plane in the UV image editor view. Now let's move this plane object using one of the basic buttons. G, for grab.
Let's scale it with the S key. In the 3D view, if you hold press the middle mouse button, you will rotate the point of view. But in the UV editor, if you hold press the middle mouse button, it doesn't rotate, but move the view. We press G key again for a better location of the plane object, trying to fit it in the texture image, and press S key for accurate size. G S It looks good now. How can we see if the texture fits correctly in the 3D object? We are seeing the 3D object in solid option. If we change it to texture option, we will be able to see the character with texture. Why, is the character rather dark in some parts? That's because there is a point light in the scene by default. We cannot select now the light because we are in edit mode. Let's press tab to change to object mode. Now we will be able to select the light object, with right mouse button. If we move the light, we can check that it affects the texture. We can remove the point light by pressing delete key. The character will become totally illuminated. Let's do the other parts of the body using the same way of unwrapping. Select the middle object with right mouse button. Press tab for edit mode. And now, with control tab, change to edges. Select the correct edges with right mouse button, and holding down shift for multiple selection. Control E, and mark seam. Press A key to select all faces. Remember, if it deselects all faces, press A key again. And finally press U key for unwrap the faces. We drag the plane object to the correct zone using G key. And with S key, we scale it. G S G If you see that some parts doesn't fit correctly, you can move individually the vertices by selecting them. And now, we move that part using G key. If you don't want it to move in a random location, you can type the axis, in this case, we use GX, so it will move in the X axis. Let's move this part in the Y-axis, typing G and Y. This one too. G, Y. And these vertices too. G, X. And this one. G, X. Finally, let's move these vertices up. G, Y. We can see that it has fitted perfectly in the body character. We even see these marks in the texture, that help us to know where the arms are located. We select the arm, and holding down shift key, select the other arm. And move them down in the Z axis, and in the Y axis. Also, we can see that the arms must be wider. SY, for scaling it in the Y axis. Now the last one. Select the object and tab for edit mode. Control tab to change it to edges. We select with right mouse button, the edges that we will mark as seams. Control E, and then, mark seam. Select all with a key. 
Type U for unwrap. We move it using G key. Scale it with S key. Done it. Finally, the arms. Select the arm with right mouse button. Tab for edit mode. We have to cut it by using the same way that we have been using. We can type Z key for changing to Y view. This way, we can see the polygons better. Press Ctrl Tab for changing to faces. We select this face, because it is hidden into the character's body, and we don't need it. So, we can delete it by pressing Delete key. You have to choose what you want to remove. We select faces. It's important to choose correctly what you want to remove. Let's get out of the left arm. Pressing tab for object mode, and select the right arm, tab for edit mode. Select the upper face. If we press delete key and choose vertices instead of faces, you'll remove the four vertices of the face. Let's see what happens. Look! Almost all the arm has disappeared. Ctrl Z for undo that action, another way to removing something is by pressing X key. You will get the same delete window, we will select now the faces. Ctrl tab for edges selection. Let's texturize it. Select the edges to mark seams. Press Ctrl E, and then mark seam. Select all, using A key, and U key for unwrap. Sometimes, you find that the texture has gone. When this happens, you can look for the texture in this icon, and select the texture in the list. Now we can see the texture again. When you create the unwrapping, the plain object fits into the texture window in a particular way. So, sometimes it is a scaled in a strange way. If you see, this little rectangle belongs to this huge rectangle. And the long vertical rectangles in the UV editor are not so long but wider. We will have to do some adjustments. Move the plane object with the G key. Scale it with the S key. We have to scale it now only in the Y axis. If we press S key, it will scale the object in X and Y axis. If we just want it scaled in the Y axis, we have to press S and then Y. Remember, in the UV editor, we have only an horizontal and vertical axis, X and Y. But in the 3D view, the vertical axis is Z, not Y axis. G for grab. S and Y. S and X. G and X. OK.
we can see that this rectangle is not located in the correct position. I did wrong the seams. We have two ways now. We can do again the mark seam correctly, or choose an easier way. We can select that face, and, in the UV editor, will appear just that selected face. Ups. I'm selecting it in edge mode. We have to select it in face mode. Select the face, and you will be able to see just that face in the UV editor. And now, we adjust it to the correct location. Move these two vertices by using G and Y. And then, move the whole rectangle to the left, by pressing G and X, it's like a little trick. Don't tell anyone. Really, it's not perfectly done, but it's impossible to detect the change of texture in this case. Let's do the last one. This time, let's try to do it better than the previous one. Let's think. I have to cut. This one, corresponds to this one, I think, yes. Control tab for edges. This edge would be this one. And this one would be this other one. Ah. Sure. These edges must be these ones. Control E, and mark seam. A key, you key. Here it is. But it has appeared with a different rotation. Let's do some adjustments. Our key for rotating. If we want a specific value of rotation, we can type it. Minus 90 degrees. S. G. S. S. We can see that the little rectangle in the bottom will fit perfectly in the right position. S and Y. S and Y. S and Y. And now, we move these two vertices up by using G and Y. We have the character totally texturized. If we want to remove the UV editor window, you must not drag it like this, it won't work. You have to use the little icon in the upper corner. If you drag it to the left, a new window will be created, but now you cannot remove it by dragging it to the right. If you want that window removed, you must drag the corner to the right. You'll see a semi-transparent white arrow. Drag again to the right, and the next window will be removed. Well, we have finished this second tutorial. See you in the next tutorial, in which we will do the rigging of the character. Bye.